Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you're interested in today's video. In August 2025, a team of Chinese scientists successfully developed the world's first adaptive, high-speed communications chip capable of covering the entire frequency band. This achievement has been published in the top international academic journal Nature. This fingernail-sized chip solves the long-standing problem of band rigidity that has plagued the communications industry, enabling flexible operation from microwave and sub-6 GHz to millimeter wave and even terahertz frequency bands. Its data transmission rate exceeds 120 gigabits per second, two to three orders of magnitude higher than current 5G speeds. This breakthrough means that users can enjoy high-speed and reliable communication connections, whether in densely populated urban areas or remote mountainous areas, completely ending the dilemma of signal islands. This breakthrough was jointly achieved by Professor Wang Xingxuan's team at the School of Electronic Engineering at Peking University and Professor Wang Cheng's team at the City University of Hong Kong. They innovatively employed an optoelectronic fusion architecture, using advanced thin-film lithium niobate materials as a platform to transform electrical signals into optical signals for processing, leveraging the ultra-wide bandwidth characteristics of photonics to overcome frequency limitations. The research team proposed a concept of the Universal Optoelectronic Converge Wireless Transceiver Engine. This integrated all key functional units of a wireless transceiver system, including baseband modulation, carrier generation, and up slash down conversion, within a tiny functional area measuring just 11 mm x 1.7 mm. This approach achieves bandwidth processing capabilities exceeding 100 GHz nearly eight octaves. The teams developed integrated optoelectronic oscillator based on optical microring resonators architecture can directly generate high-quality electromagnetic signals at any target frequency. Even at high frequencies above 100 GHz, its noise performance remains comparable to traditional low-frequency bands, fundamentally resolving the industry pain point of increasing noise accumulation associated with traditional frequency multiplication. Experimental data demonstrates that this innovative system based on this chip can achieve ultra-high-speed wireless transmission rates exceeding 120 gigabits per second, fully meeting the peak rate requirements of 6G. Furthermore, the end-to-end -end wireless communication link maintains consistent performance across the entire frequency band, with no degradation in high-frequency performance. In April 2025, the Purple Mountain Laboratory unveiled the world's first 6G integrated communication, intelligence, and sensing field test network in Nanjing. This network boasts over 10 times the connectivity of 5G and enables high-precision target perception. During field testing in Nanjing, three drones were simultaneously flying, and a base station detected their position and speed in real-time true signal echoes, with centimeter-level accuracy. This capability enables 6G to not only transmit information but also provide radar-like visibility into the environment, providing new solutions for low-altitude logistics, security, and other fields. In collaboration with Galaxy Aerospace, China Mobile, and other companies, the Purple Mountain Laboratory has built an integrated communication and perception network covering air, space, land, and sea. The test network utilizes integrated communication and radar technology, integrating communication and radar functions. Base stations can simultaneously serve user communications and detect unauthorized drone intrusions. In March 2025, the Purple Mountain Laboratory in Nanjing announced the completion of the world's first 6G full-band test site, leading the core provisions of the 3GPP standard framework to achieve a 1 TBPS transmission rate for photonic terahertz communication. A terahertz device equipped with a tantalum carbide coating achieved 98.7% data fidelity in a 70 km blackout zone. This breakthrough directly shattered the loss of connection, curse in space communications and significantly enhanced China's deep space communication capabilities. 
By 2025, China will have ranked first globally with 40.3% of 6G pattern applications, covering core areas such as satellite communications and terahertz. Huawei leads the world with 3,435 patents, and its terahertz communication technology has achieved a laboratory transmission rate of 1 TBPS. ZT has achieved a breakthrough in satellite ground integrated networking, completing the world's first real time communication verification between a low orbit satellite and a ground based station. In February 2024, the world's first 6G architecture verification satellite was launched from the waters of Yanxiang, Wangdong, aboard a Jelong Tree rocket. This satellite core verification satellite, jointly developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences and China Mobile, operates in a low orbit of 500 km, with a latency of 0.1 milliseconds and a peak rate of 100 gigabits per second, pushing the boundaries of communication technology. China Mobile Satellite 01 was simultaneously launched into orbit, establishing the world's first integrated ground-to-space dual satellite test system. This seamless connection between ground-based stations and satellites eliminates signal silos in deserts, deep seas, and polar regions. The 6G scenario requirements standard spearheaded by China Mobile was unanimously approved by 3GPP, with the support of 90 companies worldwide. This development rewrites the century-long landscape of European and American-dominated communication standards. In terms of industrial applications, Nanjing Purple Mountain Science and Technology City has launched the construction of a 6G city, planning to foster emerging industries such as the low-altitude economy and digital energy. Take low-altitude logistics as an example. The 6G test network can identify the contents of drone deliveries from 30 kilometers away, increasing logistics efficiency by 40% and reducing costs by 25%. In Zhejiang, 6G-enabled digital twin ports have increased cargo turnover efficiency by 40%. In Xinjiang, satellite-connected smart farms have increased cotton yields per move by 15%. By 2025, China's 6G equipment localization rate will exceed 85%, completely freeing the industry chain from dependence on Western lithography machines and RF components. From Huawei HiSilicon's 6G baseband chip to the Purple Mountain Laboratories, intelligent network architecture, China has established a path to de-Americanize key technologies. Regarding international reactions, the Wall Street Journal reported, China's breakthrough speed in 6G technology is astonishing, leaving the United States at least two to three years behind. Germany's Der Spiegel magazine stated, this means China will have absolute say in the future development of 6G standards. Western companies seeking to use this technology may have to pay patent fees to China. The EU's HexoX2 project team urgently adjusted its roadmap, acknowledging that it lags behind China by 2.3 technological generations in the terahertz frequency band. Japan's XGMF alliance announced a $4.5 billion investment in an attempt to replicate Nanjing's cellular-free MIMO architecture. It is predicted that by 2035, the digital economy driven by 6G will reach $12 trillion, accounting for 30% of GDP. 6G will spawn new growth drivers such as smart transportation, the space economy, and the industrial internet. The smart transportation market will exceed $2 trillion, while low-earth orbit services will reach $8 trillion.